Welcome to my very short recap of Game 9 of the 2023 FIDE World Chess Championship between Jan Nepomniachi playing with the white pieces and Ding Li Ren playing with the black pieces. Ding is a game down, so he would like to have a win here. A draw keeps him a game down and makes his position more and more desperate. The players opened with the Rui Lopez, which has already been seen once in this tournament, and Ding plays the Berlin defense, which I believe is that knight out there. I'm not incredibly familiar with these positions, but I have heard of them. One thing I found fascinating was that depending on which browser you run this game review in, you get a different number of mistakes and inaccuracies, and different moves are counted as mistakes or inaccuracies. I first ran this review in Firefox on chess.com, and it said Ding had four mistakes. But then when I ran it in Chrome, which upgrades to Stockfish 15, Ding only had one mistake. But even then, several moves in this game are counted as mistakes, but when you look at the analysis board, it's the move that Stockfish is recommending as the top move. For example, in this position on move 18, Ding played bishop to f8, and and the game review counted that as an inaccuracy. But if you back up and look at the moves that suggested by Stockfish, that's the top move. And here, after 20 moves, Jan plays knight to g6, and the game review counted that as a mistake. But backing up, that's the top move suggested by Stockfish, which tells you that these two players are playing incredibly well, calculating incredibly deeply, even more deeply than the low-depth game review that runs on these sites. Another example is here on move 24, when Ding plays rook to b5. That's counted as a mistake, but it's one of the top two moves, almost of equal value, suggested by Stockfish. And that turns out to be the case for quite a few moves in this game, so before you trust the mistakes or inaccuracies, the little icons that pop up on the screen when you're running your game review, look at the analysis tab and see what Stockfish is recommending as the top moves. Very often, it turns out that the move you made wasn't a mistake. But anyway, the two players continued playing. Jan had a slight advantage at times, but never very big, not like the advantage that Ding had and gave away in the previous game. This game went 84 moves, sorry, 82 moves. And already here, commentators were predicting a draw. And sure enough, despite Jan having an extra pawn, the players were able to protect, each, protect their position from the other one's attack. This is only at move 47. But they kept playing. They kept playing each player thinking that they might have an advantage. Jan perhaps thinking that his extra pawn would give him an advantage. But it turned out that it really didn't. He does have an outside passed pawn, but he can't protect it all the way down. And after 70 moves... It should have been obvious at this point that it was going to be a draw. Perhaps Jan decided to wear out his opponent or try to wear out his opponent, but there was just nothing he could do to get that extra pawn down there. And after 82 moves, they agreed on a draw. Thank you for watching my very short recap. We'll see you next time.